Hello students, in this video I am going to talk about the De Morgan's theorem. Let us start. There are two definitions for De Morgan's theorem. The first is equivalency of NAND gate and negative OR gate and the second is equivalency of NOR gate and negative AND gate. So the first is equivalency of NAND gate and negative OR gate. As for the De Morgan's theorem, it states that the complement of two or more ANDed variables is equivalent to the OR of the individual complements of the variable. That means X dot Y whole bar, that is nothing but the NAND gate, is equal to the complement of individual variable passed through the OR gate. Another definition for the same Boolean expression can be given as the complement of the product of variables is equal to the sum of complement of the variables. So that means this NAND gate is equivalent to the negative OR gate. This is the first law of De Morgan's theorem. So here is the proof for that. This is your NAND gate and this is your negative OR gate. Negative OR means before providing the input to the OR gate, we have done the negative of our input signals. So, x dot y whole bar is equal to x bar plus y bar. So, let us take two inputs, x and y. So, let us write down the truth table. We have 0, 0, 1, 1 and 0, 1, 0, 1. The first is x dot y whole bar is nothing but the NAND gate, which is the opposite of AND gate. So, the truth table is triple one zero. On the other hand, we have to prove that this expression is equal to x bar plus y bar. So, x bar is a reverse of x, y bar is a reverse of y and there is a plus in between both. So, here you will get x bar as 1, 1, 0 and 0. Similarly, y bar will be 1, 0, 1, 0 and there is a plus in between both. So, 1 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 0, 1, 0 plus 1, 1 and 0 plus 0, 0. That means both the expressions are equal to each other. Hence, we have verified with the help of truth table as well. Here comes our second De Morgan's theorem. The second De Morgan's theorem states that the complement of two or more odd variables is equivalent to the AND of complements of the individual variables. That means the NOR gate is equal to the AND gate of complements of individual variables. The second definition is the complement of sum of variables is equal to the product of complements of the variables. Hence, this NOR gate is equivalent to negative AND gate. So, this is the second law of De Morgan's theorem. So, once again, let us verify the same expression with the help of truth table. Now, we need to verify that NOR gate is equivalent to negative AND gate. Once again, what is negative AND gate? So, before providing the input to the AND gate, we are going to give the inputs to the negative or NOT signals. So, here you will get X bar dot Y bar. Let us start. First is X plus Y whole bar. This is NOR gate which is opposite to OR gate. The truth table of OR gate is 0, triple 1, but the truth table of NOR gate will be reverse, that is 1, triple 0. And here you will get x bar dot y bar. So, x bar is once again 1, 1, 0, 0. y bar is 1, 0, 1, 0. And there is a dot in between both, dot means product. So, 1 dot 1, 1, 1 dot 0, 0, 0 dot 1, 0 and 0 dot 0, 0. Hence, we have verified this expression with the help of truth table as well. Let us try to simplify a few theorems, few examples based on the same De Morgan's theorem. Here I have taken four examples. Let us apply. First is x dot y dot z whole bar. So, how we will be able to write down this in separate? x bar dot will become plus here we have y bar, again dot will become plus and the last one will be z bar. So, we have 
divided this whole bar into the separate individual variables and dot will become plus similarly the second case will become x bar dot y bar dot z bar now the third case is x bar it's already x bar so it will become x bar it's again bar plus will become dot y double bar again plus will become dot so what is x double bar it's bar again it's bar that is nothing but equal to x hence the final answer will be x dot y dot z similarly here you will get the final answer as w plus x plus y plus z so these are few examples of de morgan's theorem that we can have so you can have a look x bar plus y bar plus z bar x bar dot y bar dot z bar x dot y dot z and the last one is w plus x plus y plus z so these are the few examples in which i have just applied the de morgan's theorem in the easiest manner here are the few more problems based on the de morgan theorem a plus b whole bar plus c bar whole bar a bar plus b plus c dot d whole bar third is a plus b dot c bar d bar plus e plus f bar whole bar let us try to simplify these few problems where we have to apply de morgan's theorem multiple times the first example so initially we have taken this plus as the middle portion and we going to separate this whole bar into two segments it will become a plus b it's already bar it will again become second bar plus will become dot and c double bar and bar will cancel out with each other hence the final answer will be a plus b dot c second once again we are going to take this plus as the middle variable over here so that we can separate this whole bar into two segments so you will get a bar plus b whole bar plus will become dot over here and c dot d whole bar let us apply de morgan's theorem once again on separate segments first is a bar plus b and the second is c dot d so now this plus will become dot and this dot will become plus and a double bar plus b bar c bar plus d bar and this bar will cancel out with each other hence the final answer will be a dot b bar bracket c bar plus d bar and the last example so for the last example initially we are going to take this plus as the middle positive sign of the or gate operation over here so that we can apply de morgan's theorem so the first case the whole bar will be divided into two portions first is a plus b dot c bar d bar its whole bar this plus will be converted into dot and the second one will be e plus f bar whole bar so this is the first segment that we have applied now let us apply de morgan's theorem once again so here it will be applied first and for the second portion it will be applied first uh, secondly as well so we have a plus b whole bar and uh, this dot here which is in between will be converted into plus and it will become c double bar once again this dot will be converted into plus and d double bar so double bars will be cancel out with each other the second portion e plus f bar whole bar so now this plus will be converted into dot e bar plus f double bar that will cancel out with each other and for this a plus b you will get a bar plus will become dot and b bar so this is how you can apply the de morgan's theorem multiple times in a given problem so as to simplify the given boolean expression by using de morgan's theorem thank you so much